All right, everybody, it's Clint again. I didn't disappear, I promise, but um, I've got my handy dandy, what, plexiglass drawing board. This is what I draw on. And it was really cool. I got an email from Peter saying that seven people on the Alterna campaign ordered trading cards and they selected me to draw them, uh, which is insane because I've never had anybody uh, put my name on there. But I think it's because I've been kind of playing with style and I, I did something a little different <laughs> on an Alterna uh, auction stream. And that's when people started uh, backing it at that uh, level. So seven of these. So if we got four down, I've got to do three more. I think that'll include Monstro, two Monstros and one. Uh, it's the last one. One more Joanne, I think. So uh, that'll be fun. So a couple of Joannes here. Tried different stuff with hair and all that. Baron Rat. Never, never thought I'd be drawing a cartoon rat, but there he is. And then this is Batsy from Wolf and Batsy. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> three more to go. Pretty cool. Uh, does make me think, man, it'd be so cool to be an artist and just be able to draw uh, and spend more time making comics and make money with actual drawing. That would be pretty cool. Um, I'm not there yet, though. <laughs> anyway, while I have you here, though, let me give you a little update. Uh, Fatal Colors. Uh, I have been progressing a lot. Actually, all of the pages are flatted right now. Um, Fatal itself, Charlie's doing some work on the last page, and I know he said that there's a few little tweaks he wanted to do here and there. Uh, people are get, getting kind of hung up on the line art, and I get it. Like that's a that is a big step, but uh, know that the book is still progressing, and so because colors are in progress, it's uh, like we're we're using the time. Uh, in a good way um the goal with that really is i want to be able to send it off to the printer before the end of the year realistically that's what we're looking at um uh, downcast four is in the works right now uh it's been kind of put on hold as far as line art goes though we do have two full chapters of it finished uh nacho is coloring his section and so those colors are in progress i have two covers that are complete and colored they look fantastic with colors uh but i'm gonna wait to show those because i want to keep that hype um beside that man i've been really looking at other ways to be able to fund comics and keep them going in more of like a micro uh funding process i don't know how you'd say that crowdfunding the big uh push is to raise a whole bunch of money in one big lump sum but the more i got thinking about it um I might want to try some kind of Patreon model, not necessarily Patreon, but something like that. And the goal would be to fund a single chapter or single issue at a time. And uh, I don't think I'm going to just start that in the middle of anything, but it might be worth trying. Uh, that way, I'm asking for less money uh, from backers, but it would be more of a like monthly basis or bi-monthly basis that um, you could get a smaller segment of book out. I'm seriously looking into this. I, I don't know. I realize that there are pros and cons between that and crowdfunding, but something to consider. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.